guys how is everyone today how are you i'm not going to be on long because i have to leave around in about an hour and 15 minutes or so i'm not going to be on here forever but i just wanted to come on and say good morning and i know a lot of ladies who are leveling up and getting you know cute they have a lot of people at work or at home or in their families you know, trying to hate on them, trying to say bad things about them and say, you know, you, you, why are you all getting dressed up to go to the store? Blah, 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 blah. You know, people are going to hate on you if they can't use you or use you to feel good about themselves. A lot of people are going to hate on you if you're not um, doing what they're doing, especially if you're doing better. And a lot of people are going to hate on your success when you start becoming successful in whatever you're doing, okay? And and even if they're not trying to hate on you in a roundabout way, they kind of want what you have, but they're too embarrassed to ask you how to get it. So they just hate on you instead, you know? Velvet's up, yeah. So if you have, you know, friends who are, you know, hating because they can't get what you got or look how you look or, you know... They don't wake up early enough to put their makeup on and get the responses to do that work because you've been letting up. You know, I always offer, would you like me to help you do the same thing? You know, would you like some tips on makeup? Would you like me to give you my Sephora coupon and whatever? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they have free makeovers at Sephora if you buy uh, this many products or this much product. You know, just kind of drop hints and clues that you know that what they really want is to shine just like you. Uh -huh. So, and also, you guys, people do the same thing to me. Um, I might not have the most subscribers or the most views on YouTube, but I have enough to get attention from, you know, people that have way less and they kind of use my name. And say negative things about me to get people to their channel, putting my name in their titles. But you know what? It's okay. You know, there's a better way to do it. Because in the past, a lot of people that have just come to me and asked, oh, could you shout me out on your channel? Or could you do this and could you do that? You know, it was a positive reference. And it got so many people to go to their channel. But if it's negative, I mean... You know, you could get so much more uh, people coming to your channel if I recommend you in a positive note, you know, and your channels and your videos that you're trying to make money on wouldn't keep disappearing or shutting down. You know what I'm saying? So there's a smart way to do things if you just come out of your your ego and come and ask, how do you do it? Can you help me? Can you shout me out? Can you, but instead, y'all want to y'all want to um, say crazy things, just like the women at work or the women in your family or people in your family who don't like you leveling up. They would rather put you down than to ask for help. They would rather try to expose what's already been exposed on my channel. If you watch me, there's nothing that can be exposed about me. I'm trying to tell you why. <laughs> Because I tell y'all everything and I don't have anything to hide. And if I don't want it out there, y'all ain't going to be able to find it on the Internet. Believe me. <laughs> OK, so. All you all you guys are doing is making more money. Um, the trolls anyway. Y'all just make me way more money. To feed my cat. Gourmet treats this time, okay? I'm going to go buy the fresh stuff. <laughs> so, you know, do whatever you like. You know, since, I mean, each video y'all do, I get 100 new subscribers. It's that simple, you know, and maybe more depending on the video. <laughs> Here you go, kitty. Get, the, get that on the floor. Look, kitty. So, and then you guys' uh, videos get shut down for copyright infringement and using my name. So y'all didn't make no money. You see how it backfires? What you got to do is come to me and say, hey, Shira, I like what you're doing. You know, if can we do this? Can we do that? You know, um, 
da 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 Come to me. Don't go, you know, I, I've helped so many people get their channels up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if y'all want to keep getting shut down and videos deleted, oh, well, whatever. Now, nah, that's bad business moves there. <laughs> a bad business move. I could show you how to do it, but you gotta you gotta come to me like you really uh you know wanna 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 do something because this cat because that you know in the morning I wake up. I know all of y'all is at all the all my trolls who heavily troll me are at work. Okay. And I know one troll in particular is totally obsessed with me. Totally. One troll particular has been watching me since 2014, every single video, know every detail of my life, know everything, probably know every piece of article of clothing I ever wore. Um, and I have never been in love with a man as much as he's in love with me, I'm trying to tell you, because that's just straight up obsession. <laughs> okay. I'm serious. If he had money and he tried to marry me, he would be definitely the type of man that would love me way more. <laughs> and he'd be doing the same stuff. Paying all the bills and everything. <laughs> so I already know. So when you when you're out you're looking good and people try to negatively put you down because of what you're doing and your success at it. You don't have to acknowledge them. You can acknowledge them if you like. You can check them if you like. You don't have to, but it's up to you. If you can benefit from acknowledging them and telling them something, do it. You know, if you can get them to stop bothering you so you can focus on your goals, do it. You know, if it's going to make them do certain things that you need them to do, you know, tell them, look, I know what you're doing. I know that you are a little bit upset that I have decided to, you know, improve myself, but I can help you do the same if you like. <laughs> this cat is crazy. This cat is super crazy. What have you been doing up here? You even got into that cat milk? You got it at the cat meal. <laughs> so, you know, when I was in high school, like I, I think I might just go to my high school reunion really, you know, because when I was in high school, there were so many pick me's and dusty chicks in in high school that were just like, "Why you wear red lipstick to school? Why you do this? Why you do that?" Because I can. My mama lets me. <laughs> I know how to put it on. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm working on my sugar daddy profile right now. Do you think it's okay to let my Instagram on to put my PayPal? To let my Instagram. I mean, if that is what's going to help you do it. If that's going to hinder you, don't do it. You know, Instagram is tricky when it comes to dating. <laughs> so, you know, let your haters get you paid because they're definitely not getting paid because they're doing it the wrong way. Let your haters get you noticed. Like when a girl is, is trying to tell you, oh, why are you doing all that? Just talk loud. Just like, oh, I love looking beautiful when I come to work. I can't come to work anymore looking like. Then pause and pretend like he was going to say you and say, um, looking normal. I got to do a little extra now. Well, what you trying to do extra for? Oh, well, you know, I've been reading this book and following this advice saying, you know, dress for the life you want, dress for the life you, you know, um, leave your house looking your absolute best every day. It's just a self-improvement thing that I'm doing, you know, and the book did talk about other people who are not going to be totally happy about it. And, you know, the book says 
to simply invite them to join you. <laughs> you just lie. You know, you know, I mean, there probably is a book that says that, but just say the book predicted pick me hater behavior. And when they do it, just ask them to join you. Like I'm saying, you know, when when products pay you, when companies pay movies to put products in their film, the company of the product gets paid a lot. When you put a product in a film and the company didn't pay, they got to blur it out. You know how they have me wearing, walking around with them blurred t-shirts and blurred Coke cans out? They got to blur it out. And that's kind of the same thing. Uh, if, if you're not, if they're not benefiting while you're around, they have to blur you out somehow. They have to kind of make you look like, no, don't give this person attention. You know, hide their, um, you know, hide their level up. You can't give this person attention. But everybody knows what the blurred out sign is. Everybody. You know, you see a red can with a blurred out sign. You know what that is. That's Coke. Okay. So no matter how hard you try to hide something, you're still going to get promoted no matter what. No matter how you try to hide and blur and say crazy stuff and make up lies and people make up lies about you, you're still going to profit. Okay. Still. And the reason why you can do that is because you took the time and the effort to level up instead of try to use other people's, you know, um, whatever to put you up, you know, you did it on your own. So people work hard in my group, you know, on all of the groups, they work hard. I've seen women lose 30 pounds, get nice hair, learn how to do makeup better than me. You know, I, they work hard for this. Okay. It's not an easy task to come out your house looking the best every day. It's not. And what I, a lot of the women in my group outdo me. Okay. Maybe their hair be better than mine. Their eyes, their brows, their makeup on point, nails on point. I'm so proud of them. Good, Erica. See, I'm so proud of them, you know. And for people to come and say these women aren't doing anything, just let you know you are. You're making an impact. The guys can't get at you. The Dusties can't even approach you anymore and it's pissing them off. Okay. The Dusties can't even get you to meet them for coffee anymore. That's what's making them mad. Their games aren't working anymore. You're leveling up. You know, of course, they're upset and they're making fun of who you're dating, but who cares who you're dating? You know, the women that they're dating are a damn joke too, okay? At least you're benefiting from it. Remember that. They're actually coming out of pocket for their little crusty dusties. And the little bit that they're coming out of the pocket for, they're complaining about. Okay? So don't ever let people hold you back. If they start making jokes and sly remarks, that means you're doing good. If they gonna take the time out their little time, out their little break, out their time to focus on you, hey, kitty, you're doing well. You're being noticed, and that's all you need. You got it. So the reason why people are so upset with this channel is because they, they are seeing the change everywhere. When I click on Facebook, when I click on YouTube, I see similar subjects. Women are starting to talk about this now. They're tired. They're tired of being the breadwinner. They're tired of being the mama and the daddy. And I don't mind if other people make similar topic videos because the message needs to get out. That's what I do what I do. You know, I want people, I want this to be mainstream. I want women to be able to say, I don't want no dusty. Forget, you know, oh, you need a good man. You need to align your chakras. Okay. 
Okay, my chakras are aligned and I understand what a good man is. And it ain't somebody <clears throat> that's super jealous and, you know, stalking me for three years. That's a crazy man. Uh, so, a good man is somebody that's going to take care of you and love you more. That's a good man, okay? No chakras have nothing to do with it. We don't care about that stuff, okay? We are the women, okay? We already know how all that stuff works, or at least I do, and some of you do know how that stuff works. It has nothing to do with it. If your chakras were aligned, you'd be getting paid, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if your third eye was open, if your crown chakra was open, you'd be getting paid. Okay, because you would see more and you would understand how to put your knowledge to use and get paid. Okay, so y'all need more than some aligned chakras to, to be a good man. Y'all need some aligned pockets. Okay, aligned pockets. <laughs> if y'all saw the video last night, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all need to align, y'all need men with aligned chakras. You need to align your chakras up. Like, what the heck? You need to align your pockets up. Can't pay rent with your chakra, baby. Can't pay bills with your chakra. <clears throat> that was his own. That was his only defense that we need to line our chakra. Come on now. How how's this going? How is going to be your best defense? And you want me to come on? He wants me to come on his channel, but that's his best line of defense. Oh, I will kill him <laughs> on that. Like that would be told. They would be. I, I wouldn't even want to embarrass him in, on his own channel, child. <clears throat> okay, but he probably got a few subscribers and more views than he ever got in his life. So uh, that was my good deed for the year. Okay, the Grinch, the Grinch who stole Christmas. There was my. I gave the. I gave you what you wanted one time. <clears throat> Hi from Georgia. How are you? Um, I don't like I see a lot of women talking about this subject now, like all types of women, you know, women who aren't so glam, women who are glam, women who are leveling up, you know, starting channels. If this becomes normal, men will have to follow or they have to go get another man. If this becomes the norm, you will not have problems worrying about who's going to pay for this. So I urge women, urge, urge, urge to keep the message going. Keep it going. I don't care if you got to post it every day on Facebook. I don't care if you got to post someone, someone's blog, someone's video, make your own video. Ouch, kitty. Um, just put it out there because the more it becomes mainstream, the less you got to worry about a dusty. Because eventually they're going to understand and like, dang, these women ain't giving us no time of day. We got to get our money up. We got to get our money up, you know, <clears throat> because their standards are rising and we're falling behind. You know, the dynamic is about to change. They're about, you know, men who are not about anything and want you to do this and this and that are about to get a rude wake up call. OK, when they can't secure any woman, when they can't afford to marry, when they can't afford to even hardly date, when a woman will not call them back after the first date because he was cheap or, or you know, talking to have 50 50 crap and what you bring to the table. When they start getting ghosted like they were ghosting women, they're going to be really upset. They're going to be like, well, what can I do? You know, and since they've been running games since the beginning of time. The only thing they can do is get that money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the only choice they have. You know, if a woman can go out and make money, raise kids, look good, and more, what is holding these men back is my problem. What is holding them back? I don't even know. So, oh, look, there's Dusty in here. Oh, really? Where are you at, Dusty? <laughs> uh, 
And, you know, if if the trolls are going to talk about us, they need to be able to, like, if y'all are going to talk about us and how we wear this and how we wear that and makeup and weave and all we want is money, y'all can't even afford it. So why talk about it? That's like me going and talk about someone's uh, nice house. Oh, you just because you got a nice house and this, this and that. Why are you going to talk about something you can't even afford? You know? <laughs> They, men have no idea how expensive makeup is. They don't. They think it's like $5. I'm serious. Men think makeup is $5. Maybe if we ran down a price list on how much everything cost. I didn't do a tutorial today. I'm so sorry, but <clears throat> maybe I'll do it. This cat. Maybe I'll do it another day. But, you know, if men really knew how expensive things were, for women, they might invite you to more than coffee. They might ex they give you a little bit more um, lavish dates <laughs> and understand how much effort women put into trying to look good and decent for them and for themselves. And you know, you represent your man. You can't you can't walk around looking crazy. Ooh, I saw your girl the other day looking like a crackhead. You know, <clears throat> you can't represent you know a man like that. So, <laughs> someone asked you to do a Starbucks date. <laughs> like, I always teach against coffee dates unless they're bringing you some. Okay. Um. So, any, look. Okay, yeah, I see a troll in there talking about nails and weaves. Yuck. Okay, yeah, they're yuck because you can't afford them. They're yuck because when your girl come and ask you, can you get my hair done? Can you get my nails done? You you gonna be like, baby, I can't afford it. So they're yuck to you. Because as soon as you get your little paycheck or your income tax, you looking at weave and makeup, pass by, walk by, trying to get numbers by them. Okay, so we already know. We know. And the women that most guys try to get after they've made a little cash, a little money. They don't look like the women uh, that they claim, you know, they want or that they were currently dating. And that reminds me, y'all, I have a confession to make. And I'm going to announce my confession. I'm going to make my confession on a live video feed. Let's see what day. This is May. May. When? I don't know when I should make my grand confession. I might, a lot of people, y'all might hate me if after I make my confession, but it is what it is. Let's see. Maybe I do it Friday, the 25th. No, because I think Mickey's going live that day. I don't want to do that. Maybe I do it Thursday, the 24th. <laughs> I'm going to do it on the 24th Thursday. Let's see. So they go to school at 12. Um, I might do it early. Maybe around 9, 30, 10 a.m. Thursday. Tune in if y'all want to hear my confession. This is my confession. Okay, so. And. Me and James talked about like what, what went down, all the crazy videos people are putting out. He just laughs. He's like, let them think what they want. Why don't you, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Why don't you make a video about this? Why don't you make a video? I said, sure. You, okay. So y'all, yes, James knows what I do. James loves it. He doesn't care. He knows that I joke around. He loves my sense of humor. That's part of the reason why he likes me. Okay, that's why he got with me because I can troll so good. Okay, we troll each other, and that's that's how we have fun. Okay, so my confession is going to be a real confession about something that a lot of people want to uh, talk about on the internet and laugh and say this and that, you know. So, you know, instead of letting people think they know something, I'm going to tell them the truth. And it's going to make me come out looking even better. 
You see, I don't tell y'all everything. But when someone tries to, you know, put stuff out there that they had found on the internet, thinking they had discovered something, you know, it didn't have any legitimacy, any legitimacy to it until I say it. So I'm going to bank off of them. I will use my trolls to climb just like they try and tried to use me. But I'm, I'm going to keep stepping up higher because all they have to do is spread a rumor. I'm the one that verifies if it's true or not. Oh, I'm putting on my lotion shadow. My black cosmic cream. Uh, so, yes, there are... <laughs> So I'm finna take, I'm finna take it. Y'all want to try to expose me? I'm going to expose myself and get paid on it. And it's nothing that me or James really care about because it's on the internet. If, if we want something off the internet, we can get that done. Our next door neighbor works with the FBI. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so tomorrow, no, Thursday, I'm going to write, a, I'm going to set it in my phone. Thursday, 10 a.m. Maybe not between 9 and 10 on Thursday. Nine, maybe 9, 9.45 and 10. I will be live to do my confession. And I'll probably make a formal announcement before I do it on YouTube. Confession. Thursday. 9.45. Y'all gonna try to make money off my stuff? Oh, no. I'm gonna make money off my own stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, this one will be the truth. That way you can get all the good juicy details because uh, only I have them. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm going to put 945, 940. Yeah. Okay. That's central time, by the way. So you love juicy details. Yes, I got the tea and the juice. Um, And y'all can ask me questions. Some of y'all going to be pissed. Some of y'all going to be like, what? Some of y'all going to be like, I already knew that. Some of y'all going to be like, wow. But the whole point is to take your own controversy or what people try to put out there that's totally not true. And, you know, it's not that I was trying to hide anything. If it's on the internet, I'm not hiding it, baby. <laughs> what happened? Well, you know, when, when you try to level up, when you try to do good in life, Instead of people congratulating you and trying to, you know, say, okay, what's your secret? Can you help me? Some people go the opposite direction. Just like when you level up, women at work start acting funny towards you. Your man starts acting funny towards you because they like you with uh, low self-esteem. They like you not doing better than them. They don't like you succeeding more than they do. And they're supposed to be all that. You know, that's why a lot of these trolls and these men are upset because they are supposed to be the man. They are supposed to be all that. But they walking around with, you know, few subscribers and they got to use my name to come up. They got to they still got to use a woman to come up. You know, so that's the same thing. They you know, you can look good at work. You can look good at home. You can look good in front of your friends, but they don't want to see you do better than them. They don't. They don't want to see you do better. If they do, they're going to ask you, what's your secret? Can I do it with you? Let's do this together. What can you help me? You know, what's that you got on? I like it. They will compliment you until they can be on your level or higher. But people that don't like what you're doing because they are insecure will try to tear you down instead of build with you. Or alongside you because you know we don't do that building together they will not build themselves up alongside you but they would rather tear you back down so they don't have to do anything and put any extra effort in like you know if, if people want views on YouTube put some makeup on your face 
Put some clothes on. Clean your house. You know, get a real topic. Talk about something that people value. You know, <laughs> that's what you got to do. Uh, I said clean your house. <laughs> clean your house. You know, um, make sure you pronounce people's name correct in your video if you're going to talk about them. Right. My private life, I have private things that y'all will never know. But if it's on the Internet, it's not really private. And I'm going to profit off of it if other people are supposedly trying to. I'm not going to let them profit off of something that I can get more profit from. That makes zero sense. <laughs> That's just like the interviews. When, when a celebrity story comes out and the tabloids start saying stuff, oh, no, we can get the exclusive. We can we going to get the exclusive. Y'all, you know, we're going to get the $2 million check from Oprah or from TMZ or whatever. We're going to get paid for our story. You know, y'all don't know all the details. So, shoulders like a linebacker? Well, baby, you know, I can't help it if you're a little shrimp. I'm, I'm a big woman. You got to be this tall to ride this ride. <laughs> you know, I can't help it if you little. <laughs> can't help it if you little. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't make the football team, boo-boo. Okay, let's keep it moving. What if a woman doesn't go to college? Mo a lot of women don't go to college, baby. They still got paid. Okay. Um, just figure out how you can make money. My mom had three businesses and never went to college. <clears throat> Made a lot of money. How to use a man and get him to invest in you. Be smart. Let him think you dumb. Manipulate him. Read Art of Seduction. Read 48 Laws of Power. Follow that. Um, <clears throat> those are some books, by the way. They also have them uh, on YouTube as audiobooks. So, yes. You know, people um, will always try to get at you when you're rising. And when you rise, they can no longer reach you. That's why they're still trying to grab you on the way up, baby. Because once you get to a certain point, whatever they say is pure gossip. And you're, you'll be so high up, you won't even be able to acknowledge it. Or there will be so many people that are doing the exact same thing, you won't be able to differentiate who it is and you're like oh you know that's that's what happens <laughs> you know that's just what happens you know these people so when you get your man you get your um uh, whatever the, those women who are trying to say bad things about you oh they're gonna be oh why don't you invite us over to your house why don't you invite us to your wedding why don't you invite us to here you know why don't you invite us on your yacht why don't you invite us on your uh, lake house? Girl, bye. You can't come looking like that, baby. <laughs> okay? So, make sure if they are like that while you're rising to the top, don't invite them to nothing after you. In fact, just start ignoring them like they're beneath you because if you if you if you can't profit off of them you need to ignore them but if you can profit off of them oh yes get get your money okay see i i, I noticed that a lot of women were upset in my comments on my video last night well how come you let the trolls in how come you let the trolls because tro let me tell y'all something okay i am very business savvy okay I'm very business savvy. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Trolls equal. Okay. It does. I'm just that it is what it is. If the National Enquirer can make millions upon millions of dollars, 
to me that says trolls are able to bring money in. Okay. I'm, you know, I love what I do, but if there's opportunity, I'm going to take it. That's just it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take it. I am so sorry. The first 30 minutes of all my videos are always going to be the meat. Y'all can stop watching after 30 minutes. After that, y'all know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay? If You know, I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> so, if you really think about it, look, I, you know, I don't have a lot of YouTube subscribers as much as, you know, the huge YouTubers, right? Going live also profits you and comments and all that kind of good stuff, right? Subscribers, yes. The thing is, a lot of people don't think I make a lot of money on YouTube. And what's a lot of money, though? You know? So think about it. <laughs> I do super chat. Yes, I have super chat and monetized platform. So <clears throat> I've never been secretive about my motives when it comes to money. Never. Okay, y'all already know. I'm an I'm, a, I'm an opportunist. Y'all already know. And I teach y'all how to be one too. Okay, it's not like I'm keeping all the secrets to myself. I'm, t I'm telling y'all how to get it. Okay, so if these trolls would just come to me and say, can you teach me your ways? I would be like, sure. You know, and they're going to get charged like everybody else. So <laughs> I don't ever keep it a secret. You know, people try to call me a scammer. I'm taking y'all's money. But I don't ask for money. Y'all give it to me, baby. And what you learn is priceless. The message is priceless. The message will change the entire world. Okay? You changing one person at a time is going to change the entire dynamic of how men view women. Okay? So if it's $50, hey, you was going to spend that on some highlighter, you know what I'm saying? You can get it from your uh, sugar daddy. You can go scan that right on back, okay? <laughs> because I taught you how to go get it. <clears throat> so many women write me. She I took all your advice and guess what? It worked. This man is paying all my bills. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I ain't got to work no more. Oh, this man doing this for me. This man doing that for me. I said, see, I told you. Um, so no matter what they're saying, they don't know. Okay. They don't know what y'all are doing. And my advice might not work um, for everybody the same exact way, but you could tweak it. You can figure it out. You can kind of tweak it towards your own situation and take the good and leave the bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, you can watch and get the tips you need and incorporate them into your own way of doing things. You know, so if people are mad at your level up, if people are trying to use you or um, say bad things against you, just remember: once you get to the top, you won't even you won't even be able to um, see them or talk to them anymore. Okay, they're gonna be a joke. Mm -hmm. Your husband got a second job because you follow my tips and he's like, thank you, Solo. <laughs> Donating more money. What is that? How are you doing? Keep it coming. Anyway. So, yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to use my platform to make money off of y'all trying to make money off me. That's crazy. I'm going to make money off of y'all trying to make money off of me. <laughs> okay. 
because only I have the truth and the details and the exclusive. Now, if you want that exclusive, it's going to cost you. If anybody has a YouTube channel and y'all want my exclusive, if y'all want my confession on y'all's channel first, <laughs> get at me. I'm serious. Y'all know how to inbox me. If y'all have a YouTube channel, y'all want it to come up, I will do the exclusive on your channel. But you know it's going to cost you some money. <laughs> if not, I'll put it on my own and get paid still. So I'm just putting it out there. Thursday is going to happen. Y'all yeah, need to be available or depending on <clears throat> your schedule, we'll see. But, uh -oh. but I think I'm going to go ahead and go exclusive if I don't hear back from y'all today. Thank you, Miss Necessary, for the um the donation. I appreciate it. Oh, this is not Fenty today. This is uh Lady Balls by Too Faced. The melted uh liquid lip matte. <laughs> when would you test a guy to see if he's generous and not and that you just met? Dude. <clears throat> um, the headphone test. Oh, baby, um, before I, you show up to the date, um, I lost my headphones and I really need to, you know, I, I use them at the gym. Would you mind stopping and, and grabbing me a pair of headphones before you meet me? Let's see what he does. See what he brings you. If he brings you some cheap stuff, you know, he cheap. If he bring you the best, you know, he's trying to impress. <clears throat> So the nail polish name, I just I don't know. This is the uh this is a shellac at the nail place. I don't know the name of it because they just go by numbers. <laughs> okay, yes, whole tactics, yes. So I gotta go. It's supposed to rain, but I don't look like rain at all. I got on my rain boots. I gotta go because I gotta go to my baby school and represent for my baby. Mm -hmm. Women hitting the wall need to do whole tactics. <laughs> Men, you can't say no woman hit the wall because you know what? Y'all don't even have money. Like women can hit the wall all day and still be too good for you. Okay? Like I don't understand this. Oh, she hit the wall. She's over 30. Okay, but you can't even afford to date someone your own age. <laughs> Well, you can't even impress a 30 year old. You can't even impress, you can't even impress a woman that's hit the wall. That's sad. A woman and hit the wall and you still can't impress her. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. Okay. You know, that's sad. Don't, I wouldn't even say you hit the wall if I can't even impress you. Mm. Y'all hit the wall. At least we got a wall. We don't share one with a next door neighbor. And <clears throat> okay, how you doing? <laughs> At least our wall is in our name, baby. Not in our mama name. <laughs> At least we can put nails in our wall without having to lose the deposit fee. Okay. These side walls ain't got roaches inside of it. I know y'all love when I troll y'all. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, well, thank y'all for coming. I got to go to my baby school and this cat is crazy. She's going to take over if I let her. So... Thursday, 9.45, exclusive confession, 45 a.m. in the morning, yes. Mm -hmm. This is a precious kitty. All right, I'll see y'all later. I might come back on later and do a topic. 
Um, so if y'all have any topic ideas, let me know.